we, we really push and we really just try and try and make the best show possible. And um, part of it is that we're we're fans of television and we just want to do the best work we can. Thank you very much. Before you go, I want to give you something. It's a it's a nail file. It's unused, it's new, it's wrapped in plastic. It's really good. <laughs> So my question goes out to the whole amazing cast. So this past second this season of Castle, we saw that Castle got excited to meet Special Agent Jordan Shaw, and we saw that Becky got excited to meet Joe Torrey. I would like to know who all of you would be excited to meet. Uh, I think Esposito would be excited to meet President Barack Obama. Can we get him? <laughs> Top the show. <laughs> I know we had a Jonathan Frakes direct Woo! our episode. Woo! And it was on my 16th birthday. Aww. And I totally cried. I was having, obviously I was having such a great time. <laughs> Alyssa Milano back. Is she uh, possible yeah. to turn? I'd love an episode with Alyssa Milano. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> we, love to, we just don't want to um, do it right away because it, it, it gets a little convenient when characters who know each other keep running in, in, um, into each other on TV. And, uh, you know, unless we brought her back because her husband's been murdered. But we'll figure it out. We would love her. Uh, you know, she was so terrific on set. She was she was really wonderful. We had a great time. We, and we did have a wonderful actress uh, drop by set the other day talking about coming to uh, to an episode. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're working She's on great. that. We're working on it. Yeah. We're going to have some special guests this year for you. Woo! Yeah. 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 Here's a clue. I'm in love with her. <laughs> what is that? Half a Hollywood? Yeah, it's not just a physical attraction. Part of her name. We have time for two more questions. Uh, wait, one for you. I have a, this is a sub, this is a weird one. Um, whenever, whenever the uh, I'm in the makeup chair, I, I, I occasionally get these really blonde hairs out of my eyebrows. Uh, the makeup lady cuts them off. We've been collecting them. I also have if there's ever like an exposed white hair on my head. Doink. You don't practice voodoo, do you? <laughs> and you can't sell body parts on eBay, I'll just remind you. But yeah, we labeled this Nate's Bits. far more lenient laws on cloning. <laughs> First of all, Heat Wave, amazing book, so thank you for making that. Um, my question is, one of my favorite episodes was the, the restaurant episode. Are you going to have any more episodes that are kind of inspired by reality TV that, the way that one seemed to be? Yeah, yeah, we, we're going to bring it in. And again, props to the writer of that episode, Terry. Terry was a, a Terry's a huge fan of uh, Top Chef and all those shows, so it felt a lot of fun to bring that in. But we do have a, a couple of um, episodes where we do send ups of some of the stuff that's out there in the TV universe plans. Like did those catch? And what about our Comic Con episode? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like uh, murder at Comic Con or murder at a Sci-Fi Convention would be uh, would be something that uh, the Castle Universe would embrace. Yeah. Where, where, where would we get a bunch of rabid fans? <laughs> Quick question because we have one more surprise to show you, so one last quickie. All right, well, if it has to be quick, then I guess just for Nathan, but hi, everybody. Um, I would want to know about your most embarrassing moment on stage or on camera. 
I want to know for everybody. <laughs> I got a good one. Go, go, it's, go, go. it's terrible. Um, okay, so we're in an empty parking lot in downtown Los Angeles shooting. We're walking up to the back door of a bad guy that we expect to be uh, packing heat. So we're there, we got guns, we got the vests on, we're going, this is in uh, the, the double down, by the way. Um, and we get out of our cars, we roll in there, no sirens, so we can be nice and quiet. We're walking through the, the parking lot, and I'm the last one in line. I kick the only can in the parking lot. Because I was looking up at the window, seeing if there were guns pointed at me. Yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> moment was when we had the two-parter episode and Dana Delaney was on there. I was, yes, I love her. I was so excited that she was working with us and I was walking over to meet her and a bird doo-dooed on my shoe. I was trying to clean that up. That was my embarrassing moment. Okay guys, I want to remind you if you have the card to exchange for the wristband in the back on your way out, Andrew, you have a real special something for us, don't you? Well, we have a, a sneak peek at the first episode of season three. And to set this up, and to set this up, I, I want to let you know that it's it's been, you know, it's been a couple months. It's the fall. Oh, I can't compete with that. Oh, adorable. That's my son. <laughs> So, you know, it's been a few months and, uh, uh, you know, Castle said see you in the fall and, and he hasn't called. And, you know, Beckett's kind of hurt and the boys are kind of hurt and he's just nowhere to be found. <laughs> and so... I can't, I can't compute. So, so to start over, it's been, it's, it's been a couple months, um, you know, when we last left Castle and Beckett, Castle said see you in the fall. It's fall, he hasn't shown up. Beckett and the boys are, you know, wondering where he is and you know they're they're a little bit hurt that he hasn't called. And then this. Let's roll play. next week, uh, July 27th, and the new book, Naked Heat, which features the reunion of Jameson Rook and Nikki Heat, is out September 28th. So, thank you so much for coming out.